Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching and Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank y'all so very, very much for joining me today. Um, I thought I'd do it a little bit differently today. I have um, two happy males and I came to the boat dock because I thought maybe this way you guys could check out the lake a little bit, but I'm not sure it's going to work out. You're going to see my car more than anything, which is not as exciting as it seems. So maybe here in just a second, I'll drive you guys around and let you kind of look at the lake a little bit. Um, let's see if we do this at all. The sun is just like right in the way. Kind of, kind of. Anyway, I'm sitting at the boat dock. Um, at the boat ramp, not at the boat dock, at the boat ramp. Uh, I'm trying to find a good spot for you guys. Okay, situation for today. Today is Thursday. Um, yeah. well, I'm just going to listen to talk radio for some reason. Apparently, I don't listen to talk radio in case y'all were curious at all. Not sure why that came up. Um, this is like awesome start to a video, by the way. Doing great, doing great. Okay, so today's Thursday. So I'm officially... Why is it no matter where I go, there are fuzzes? Just sunlight and fuzzes. Anyway... I'm officially a week and, I don't know, four days or whatever we're calling it, from when I was supposed to have my treatment, all the drama, all the whatever of all of that, of course, here comes a car, there's no one here in the middle of the day, here comes another random car, because why wouldn't there be, you know, that would just be weird for me to be the only car here. Anyway, okay, <laughs> maybe they're just coming to record a YouTube video too, pulling right up by me, so fun, big old parking lot. <laughs> next to me. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm bummed though that y'all can't see the lake because that was kind of the whole point of this whole adventure. I could just set you right there. You kind of almost could. I have some yarn I can set behind you guys. Let's see. I'm working on fingerless gloves. Maybe they can help us out. Mm. Maybe not. Perhaps I should have set everyone up before I went to do this. That probably would have been a better deal. Second fingerless glove. <laughs> Let's try two. Okay, my gosh, y'all. There, maybe you can kind of see the lake. Maybe not. Hopefully those people are leaving. High five, group, high five. We can kind of see the lake and we don't have company. Oh, they're coming over here. Weird. Okay, so it has been they're just like driving around in circles. That's not sketchy at all. If I just pull off real fish fast, you guys are gonna know why. Some random dude that just pulled over four spaces closer to me. Thanks, guy. Let's do that for fun. Okay, so, anywho, get on with it, am I right? Um, so yeah, I am officially however far out of my treatment. I have felt awful. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know how else to go in on it. I don't know. Um, I just left my doctor's office. The reason I'm filming that this dude's just driving around. I don't know. Maybe he's just out for a Sunday drive on a Thursday. Heck, I don't know. Anyway, the reason I'm not home right now, because I sure would like to be home right now, but the reason I'm not is because they're currently showing the house. And so everybody, I know it's already gonna be past this by now, but if y'all would just say a little prayer, that would be great. That maybe it all works out. Um, and we get the house sold. Okay, so here's the stitch. Um, I just left my doctor, my primary care doctor. Um, they gave me two bags of fluids there, had to poke me twice um, because I'm already dehydrated, already. And um, the nurse who is just a precious, precious soul, that's why she was like, you were on my prayer list, girl, don't even think about it. And I'm like, thank you. And anyway, she told me that um, um, well, she told me that, you know, her heart broke for me, as did my doctor. She um, told me it was insane how, I mean, like she could already tell how dehydrated my body was. And just for verification's sake, I asked them if I had gained weight since last time I was there because you know at the other place they kept trying to tell me that I had lost 10 pounds and I kept telling them no I have not I have gained weight I'm eating I'm you know whatever and she said that yes 
I had in fact gained weight since the last time that I was there. And she asked if I was back on my liquid diet already and I told her I was. And that's when she told me that her heart broke for me. She was just like, I don't even know. She was like, you know what gives them the right? And I was like, that's, that's what we're all trying to figure out. So anyway, all that to say that I went and got two bags of IV fluids, much needed. I need to be home resting right now, but like I said, they're showing the house. So here we are. My puppers are in the back seat. You may see them at one point. They got in trouble for getting up in the chair. <laughs> so anyway, so I don't know. I don't think he's sad, but I think he knows now like not to get up there. So Olive can't jump up there because she's this, this tall. Jack can get up there and was checking everything out and I felt bad making it get him get down but he has sharp little claws and I have leather seats so sorry dude all right so anyway um but yeah so while I was in town because you know whatever um I came by the post office and I have two happy mails you guys are amazing I don't even know how else to say it I'm gonna get my super cool keys with my shady pines Thank you for being a friend in my New Mexico on them, just saying. And I'm going to open this box because, you know, if you don't have a knife, that's how you do it. I have scissors, but they're craft scissors, and I'm not, I'm not doing that, so. Um, all right. So, technically, I said I have two Happy Mouths, but that's a fib. That's a pure fib. I have three Happy Mouths. Um, oh, oh, sorry, oh. I mean to show addresses there my beautiful beautiful friend um i for my doctor's appointment just that it's not loud okay. before my doctor's appointment um i met my mama she came to the town that I live in and came to the doctor's office and picked up the kiddos so that they could go get them some grandma time. The keys are noisy too. Anyway, so that they could have them some grandma time for a little bit this weekend and she's hoping that I get some rest. Um, Derek told me he's going to take me on a date night. I don't know what we're doing. I'm letting him plan everything because, yep. Um, Yep. But anyway, he knows that I need some sort of break. And like I said, the, um, I, I didn't want to go back to the doctors already to my doc, even my primary care. I didn't want to go back to him already, but I did because I've had this appointment scheduled since May and it just so happens that it all kind of worked out. And I went so they did two bags of fluids as I was leaving. He was like, what if, have you ever seen an, Immunolo immunologist that's not what it was but anyways he asked if I'd ever seen one of those I was like oh, I'm not sure what are they specialized in and he was like your immune system and I was just like no I haven't but I feel like that's a good route to take and he was like I kind of do too and then we discussed a nutritionist because my mom asked me about a nutritionist even though you know I can't really eat anything maybe they can figure something out so he referred me to a nutritionist also so I feel like it was worth it I got two bags of fluids. I am so ready for a nap. It's crazy. But I'm getting two referrals. I told him, it's like, I feel like I'm back at square one. But maybe now, I don't know. You know, we'll see how it goes. I keep trying to be positive and yeah. Um, let's do this. Go all that lakeside air moving through here. So, yeah, of course, as soon as I roll on the window, here comes somebody else. <laughs> okay, fun. Um, anyway, so yeah, so he's going to refer me, and so that'll be good. Um, oh, right, there's this big, huge parking lot, and everyone pulls right up on everybody. You're going to be able to see this car go by. Look at that. Really? Oh, they're going to fish. I know where they're going. That's the road to fish. Okay, um, so then perhaps throw my window back up. Hmm fun okay so yeah so he referred me um to two different places and so hopefully we get something going from that I don't know but um but yeah so I met my mom she has the kiddos I miss them already um but she brought me delightfulness 
like I can't even tell you all how good it is and so I'm gonna wait until the end to show you guys that because I have that and she has one of the little thing that she sent me um that has some donations in it but I'm going to show you my other things first um the very let's see here it is I'm a crazy driver apparently fell over to the side but my very first one is from my beautiful beautiful special special friend summer she sends me cards pretty often she's absolutely precious and this is the one that i got today it has lisa frank stickers on it and on the back too super cute i feel like our lighting may be a smidge better in here i don't know maybe not so fun though. More stickers for the sticker book. She already has a page in the sticker book. Just saying. And technically there's a page next to her. Yeah. She has an empty page by her page. So that's perfect. You can put these on there. And she has um, some more Lisa Frank stickers that she sent me on her other envelope last time that I didn't add. And I just now remember that. So I need to do that. So Summer, get it girl. You have two pages. That's awesome. Alright. Oh, that's so cute. Okay card it's beautiful i love the very very fall it says a time for giving thanks truth it says may you be blessed with reminders of god's goodness his faithful provisions of constant care and the rich bounty of peace and joy that are ours through christ amen it says thank you okay they weren't going fishing they're just hanging out let's let's listen to the air then Perhaps we'll hear, I'm going to say a wave, but it's a lake, so probably not. Anyway, that is absolutely beautiful. I love that. God is so good. That's beautiful. A little pumpkin. Ah, she sent me more stickers. <laughs> she sent me Shopkin stickers. You're going to make me cry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My baby girl, Miss B, was infatuated for lack of better terms, with Shopkins. We have probably every Shopkin ever, not even playing, like it got ridiculous. It got to where the dollhouse I've mentioned that I built her, 90% of it was full of Shopkins. Like it was just mayhem in there and I made her keep them all. At one point she was wanting to get rid of them. And I'm like, no ma'am. And then like three months later, she was glad that she didn't get rid of them, but she has so many, but that is amazing. Shopkins and the cookie the cookie cookie was always her favorite so that is so cool I love it yeah cookie cookie I remember that was his name oh thank you and the shoe that's hilarious because I always really liked the shoe the shoes right there I thought it was cute it's like a little high top it's a tie-dye ones tie-dye hearts how good can it get come on now perfect you're awesome hearts and stars fun ones super cute Aww. and then donald mickey goofy and minnie cute so fun yay more stickers for my sticker book when i get home that's what i'm gonna do my little kid and play in my sticker book i'm so excited <laughs> thank you beautiful i didn't read the inside of the card y'all um it says may your thanksgiving be abundantly blessed love and hugs summer uh, she has a little note. Let's see. Philly McClimped. Linda Richmond Coffee Talk moment. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, talk about lake. I don't know. Water. What's your favorite water activity? Do you even like the water? All right, cool. I'll be right back. Thank you, honey. I love you. You're amazing. She says that she hopes that we have an amazing thing. Thank thanksgiving filled with family love laughter and jesus the things that matter most you're right that's awesome okay i don't know if i mentioned summer i don't know if she wants me mentioning i hope she doesn't mind summer is from kentucky i just think it's cool like seeing where they all come from and honestly i've had this discussion with the hubby and i think it would be so much fun to add like a which we already have a world map and a map of the u.s you know from the classroom but it'd be fun to put like little push pins on it i think wherever i get happy mail from and then it just i think that would be fun it's not like you know where we travel to just where things traveled to me from that would be neat 
maybe. All right, this one is from my beautiful friend, Amy. Um, you may remember Amy from that absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow shawl that she made that is stunning. That also sits on the back of the chair where I film. So, Amy is too good to me. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't know if I can open these yet. These may be for Christmas. There's a note. Okay, good. <laughs> she says, I know that your Christmas gifts are being sent early, but I wanted to get these donations to you. Thank you, honey. So then should I open them for Christmas then? Oh no. Should I wait? Ooh, I'm gonna open the card and see if I should wait. Because even if it is Christmas, I have like a whole birthday in between. I feel like I shouldn't be opening things. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, finally got a Thanksgiving card and a Christmas card. It's mistletoe. Mistletoe is the Oklahoma state tree. Fun fact. All right. Well, hello there, my friends. It's me from the future. I don't know why I said that mistletoe is the Oklahoma state tree. It definitely is not um, the Oklahoma state tree. It's a red bud, just in case anyone was ever curious at all about that one. However, the Oklahoma state flower previously was mistletoe. They've changed it or whatever, but whenever we started... Anyway, okay. The Oklahoma state flower is mistletoe. They also consider it a rose, which is like a tea rose or an Oklahoma rose, because we also have rose rocks here. But yes, it's not at all the state tree. Previously the state flower. However, it has something to do with Oklahoma, and so therefore it's neat. I don't know, just a random fun fact for the day. That was previously a misinformed fun fact. So, fun fact correction. All right, cool, thanks. Holiday hugs and mistletoe kisses. Love Amy. So I don't know then, should I show you guys? I'm gonna feel bad opening Christmas presents. And they're so cute, the wrapping paper. <laughs> Flamingos and Christmas and... Okay, it's reflecting off the screen twice. I think it's just me. I see two reflections of it. Oh, I don't know. She wants me. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm going to show you all the donations and then we'll come back to those. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. She always has the prettiest yarn. Quit. Dogs are being weird. Sorry. It's beautiful, beautiful blanket. Look how pretty is that? And I actually have um, a few things, you can't see them, a few things in the back and that I'm taking to donate. And so this is perfect. This is gorgeous though. I hope you guys can see that and the sun isn't blocking it out because it needs to be, justice needs to be done on this blanket. And I feel like the sun is blocking it out. So beautiful. Her border. So pretty. Amy blanket. She does amazing work. My goodness, that girl. Look at this cool stitch. It's like a granny and then a... Why don't you just chain and do a single crochet? Is that what that is? I love that. I absolutely love that. That looks so cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna feel bad if I don't open it. I feel like she might want me to open I don't know. Okay, so anyway. There's a scarf. There's another car. Crap. I'm gonna roll a window up. <laughs> okay. Um, another scarf. Or another scarf. A oh, scarf. I just said scarf, and so for some reason another came into my brain. I don't know why. It's beautiful. Let's see if it ends of it. You can see it. There. Too pretty. And there's a hat that matches. So 
sun is I think we may have to move y'all we may not get to see the whole lake I think I'm fixing to whip this around let's do that I'm gonna turn this around because that sun's in my eyes okay fun okay I think that's better um but now the sun is like blinding you in the background so I hope that's okay all right so here is that back on this one still look how pretty though it's beautiful beautiful colors blues and grays and then it matches a super cute scarf that's adorable okay okay This little hat. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's a head warmer. Loves it. What well, ear warmer? That is, I'm telling you, pretty shorts. <laughs> My goodness, the colors. It's gorgeous. Wow. Wow. What well, ear warmer? It's perfect. This hat. So cute. Love the brim. So cute. This hat and a matching scarf. That is so neat. I love the stitching on that. So pretty. My dogs are being considerably good. I'm actually <laughs> kind of surprised. Everyone's taking a nap, I guess. There's just two of them. I guess they're taking a nap. Right, it's pretty green. There we go. It's like a darker, not really darker, but like kind of a army green. Look at the stitching on that one. It's just, man, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Amy. Okay. This is soft <laughs> and it has sparkles in it not only is it soft and blue it's glittery okay look at it shimmer on y'all shine on you crazy diamond am i right oh how fun that matches the lake it's like what i see right now is the lake in front of me i'll show y'all here in just a sec that is so cool i'm gonna see the lake see if i can set you guys back up here once i do this okay drama me please Thank you. All right. Um, there we go. It's the lake. And my window's probably, our windshield's probably super, super dirty. Hope you can see it. <laughs> Maybe. It's the lake. I know it doesn't look like much of a lake because I'm kind of at the boat dock where there's not really like, it's not wide right here, but... I assure you, it's a very, very big lake. <laughs> um, okay. Ooh. This one. Oh, that's pretty. That is some nice yarn. Pure fluff. I like that. Black, white, and gray. It's beautiful. Another pretty scarf. I love all of your stitches. So cute. I love that. I don't even know what that is, but I like it. A whole lot. A whole lot. That is beautiful. A whole lot. Okay. Oh, there's a scarf that matches this hat. This one right here. It's so neat. So very neat. It's beautiful. That, that yarn is nice. I don't know what that is. I mean, obviously, but it's super, super soft. I'm eating. <laughs> I don't know what they're running back that you could eat. Okay. I don't think that's it. Two head warmers. Pretty. Very pretty. Or just headbands, I guess. Ear warmers, headbands. Beautiful. Just the same. 
So very pretty. There's this one. That is cool. This one has like kind of furry looking. That black is kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of, it's, that's different. That's really cool. Um, they are kind of maybe. That is neat. <laughs> very, very awesome. Amy, Amy, thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay. I love all of them so much. You guys, too much. This blanket, if you don't mind. Okay, that gray scarf. If you don't mind which stitch that is, like letting me know, that would be great. What is this in the middle? Is it just a single? That's, is it a half double? No. I think it's just a single, but I don't know. But man, that looks cool, doesn't it? There, so you guys see it better than it's not right in the sunlight that is so neat a yellow border I love that okay I'm gonna open them I feel like I shouldn't <laughs> just because it's not Christmas you know um I'm gonna read a note one more time she just said that they're being sent early she didn't say to open them early she wanted to get the donations to me and she has a little smiley face so I don't know I'm gonna do it Amy is that cool let's go and open them let's do it I've got time to kill all right they're all in that next level cute wrapping paper though I cannot tell you how adorable is this so cute thank you for early Christmas presents all right I'm gonna do like my grandma Save paper. Told y'all that was going to be my new thing. Someone has to take on the tradition, right? So Slowly. I'll never get to wrap open a present ever again. <laughs> Those days are over. Saving the paper just in case. Maybe one of these days I'll have the exact same size of package and then I'll already have paper measured out. I think that was what she always thought. Like one of these days I'll already have that, you know? I think she threw them away after. I'm really not sure, but I just know that it was always a thing. Oh, maybe I should have waited. <laughs> this is known for the holidays. That's so cute. Oh my, I love it. Yes, I love it. <laughs> That's precious and it's glittery too. Look it. Look at Linda, it's glittery too. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, now I'm kind of feeling bad about opening them, but it's like I'm already in it now, so oh gosh. All right, this one's squish. Just squishy. That's so cute. I love it. I guess that kind of works out because now I can decorate like my background, you know, before Christmas and I can use that in the background. Maybe I am glad I opened it. It's okay. Ooh. I wanted to rip the paper just in. <laughs> Got all excited about what's in here. I'm going to rip it open. I don't know how she ever did that. It just didn't rip stuff open. <gasps> it's a shirt. What is this? Okay. Since I know this is a large, but I like to wear my shirts big. Me too. And if it's too big for you, can you can always wear it for jammies. I also love big shirts I'm all like I rock leggings tennis shoes and a big shirt 90% of the time like this I think is a 3x so yes all about big shirts huh that is a cool Christmas present <laughs> okay ready squeal a crochet I feel like we all know this Hello, my name's Ashley, <clears throat> and I feel like this shirt's appropriate. I crochet, check it out, just happens to be a gnome with some rainbow yarn. <gasps> and it says, this is going to be my new favorite t-shirt, I need you to know, but my favorite hobby is collecting yarn. <laughs> How perfect is that? That's so true, though. 
that's like the whole thing is so true because i do crochet love me some gnomes and rainbow yarn but also yeah pretty addicted to the yarn thing it's more of that than crocheting at this point just collecting yarn this is phenomenal I may change my shirt. My mom would not be surprised if I sat here in the parking lot and changed my shirt. I used to do that a lot. Just fun random fact. Whenever we would go to town and I would get new clothes, I would change them in the car. <laughs> my mom was always like, are you serious? I'm like, if they're looking over here, that's their own problem. But anyway, so yeah. I went for random cars showing up. I, I wouldn't, if I wasn't by myself, I would change my shirt. That's one thing you can kind of have a look out if you have someone with you. If you're by yourself, maybe don't do it. But oh my gosh. <laughs> it's precious there. Oh, I got it all in. Let's see. Hang on. Stuck on my sweater. <laughs> I love it so dang much. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm kind of happy I opened them early. At first I wasn't, but I needed this so much right now. The last couple days have been rough. And so I still have thingies on my arm. So from IVs. And so, oh my gosh, it has rainbow yarn. I love this. This is my new favorite shirt. <laughs> Just, it is. It is what it is. That's my new favorite shirt. Thank you. Okay, this says, this is for Normville. Look on the bottom. I should it's on the bottom of the thing. <laughs> Just for curious sake, look on the bottom of this. But I'm pretty sure she means on the bottom altogether. So I'm going to look at that. For Normville. Norm's involved in Christmas, y'all. That's exciting. That's exciting. He should be involved in Christmas, you know. I guess I could always hold on to this video and not open or not show it until Christmas. <laughs> I guess I could do that. That's also an option. Okay. Ooh, bubble wrap. Y'all know what that means. We're fixing here some bubble wrappings. So you know. Let's see. Oh, maybe. Let's get it out first. I don't know what it is. Let's get it out first and then we'll pop it. Christmas tree for Normville. She says, look at the bottom. Oh, ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. If you guys saw my one Michaels haul where I, you, you have no idea. Oh my gosh. Um, if you saw my one Michaels haul where I got the light up ceramic Halloween tree, I discussed how special these are to me like the light up ceramic or whatever we're calling them christmas trees um i remember my grandma having one my husband bought me one for my birthday one year because we found it at a flea market and i told him how special it was and it was so funny because we were walking out and it was gone he was like oh man someone must have bought that tree and i was just like mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we got home and sure enough he was the one that purchased the tree but look that's so special Oh, it's so special because that's, yeah. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Like all of your things are amazing. And I cannot even tell you, this is like this special little spot in my heart and um, will definitely be the centerpiece for Normville Christmas, for sure. That's perfect. They need a big Christmas tree right in the middle, right? That's amazing. Glad I didn't pop the stuff. Okay, let's try that though. Okay. Ooh, the bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm like determined, but it's not going to happen. You hear that? Just going out the other side. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, my beautiful friend. I love that makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. Now we have our super cool ceramic tree and Norm has his super cool ceramic tree. That's so neat. Oh, thank you. That shirt, that shirt is the coolest. And the sign, it's definitely gonna be my background. Oh my goodness. Thank you. The beautiful donations. You already know that the donations are, 
or special to my heart or anything. Um, let's see. Okay. Speaking of donations, um, I said I met my mama, got the kiddos and stuff. Um, my mom made some donations. She made a little baby hat like the cutest little hat ever excuse me so she had yeah goodies to share with me she made that for donations she made this super cool purse i love it i love that yarn that is so pretty she made this for ladies at the shelter so cute she made this one this one has a chain on it so cool by the way i love that it's topped in like that pretty blue it's beautiful yeah that and then this super cool chain for its handle so it's I love that. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> love that. Then, oh, she sent me yarn too. I didn't know that. Hello, mama. She showed me this. It's like the cutest thing ever. Um, you know, little dolls that we've made loveys for and um, the last few that I've had, I've just made little blankets for them because they already kind of have a dress. And so that way, you know, the girls or boys or whomever have some fun, something to play with, with it. So I've made them like little blankets to go with them. My mom made this. <laughs> it's so cute. It has leg warmers, like a cute little like shawl. Okay. And she has leg warmers. Can we be any cuter? <laughs> that one's... Sorry, I rolled that one up. Look, how precious is she? So yeah, she has leg warmers and a shawl because, you know, get it girl. Outfit, am I right? <laughs> so stinking precious. I love her little wee tiny shawl though. So cute. So yeah, my mama made her. <laughs> I love it. And it also cool is that yarn that she made the purses out of, which I'm pretty sure is um, Hobby Lobby yarn. I don't know that, but I'm pretty sure. I have that. I have some Yarn V highlights in the color ivory. Also has sparkle. We're all about sparkle today, everyone. That makes me happy. Not that you can see it, but there's glitter. And then, yay, yay. I have two Red Heart Super Saver Metallic in the color white. And I love these because they look like snow to me. And so I have a, some fun Christmas projects for those I'm excited about. I guess I could put the donations in the one box. Huh? Okay. Then she sent me some fun like little baubles and things for Normville. Um, just some fun little stuff for that. But she ordered me these. I'm so excited. Um, okay. So she works with the lady who has a mama that sews. And they apparently have been watching my channel. Hello. How are you? Um, that's so cool. And so she sews. I mentioned that. She's a seamstress. Um, and she makes scissor holders and some, I mean, she makes different things. Um, that sun though, my goodness y'all. Anyway, so she made me some scissor holders, holders for my scissors, whatever we're calling them. Uh, they're possibly the coolest things I've seen in a hot, hot minute. So, all right, I'm gonna start with this one. Super cute. It has a little rainbow thingy and a hook on it. My mama picked the fabric out. Cause she knows me pretty dang well. Just peace signs and all this pretty stitching on the back. On the inside. Tis tie-dye and rainbows. 
So yeah, so that's for my little scissors. So I can just snap it on my project bag. Then I have this one. Also has a hook for your project bag. But it's for big scissors. And also just happens to say a little something. Stitching ain't easy, y'all. Didn't know if you knew. It's not. <laughs> so sometimes it is. Most part, most time, you know. So yeah. Stitching ain't easy. Scissor pouch. Squeal. <laughs> Am I right? Super cool yellow zipper. Let's listen to the zip. Oh, it digs it. Very much. It has a rainbow that matches perfectly. So, so cool. Okay. So cool. I am officially on merchandise. Y'all, that's amazing. <laughs> then, one more. Then, she sent me this. This was an extra. My mom asked for like the scissor holders and she just made this. Lime green letters. Stitching ain't easy. It's this on the on this on the inside but it is for your kleenex how cool is that so i can just have this in my purse have kleenex pouch because i have we all you know have allergy issues we'll say that and it says my name on it is that not just the neatest so that this let's take my fingers on the way and this one that she made me. And they are the coolest things since sliced bread. And I was born after sliced bread. And I'm still going to say they're coolest. The coolest things since then, by far. So yes, I love them so very much. I can't wait to get home and put my scissors in there. <laughs> Add stuff, you know. So yeah. So cool. She did a fantastic job on those. So. Alright. So that is my Happy Mail that is some happy, happy mail right there. My goodness gracious. I got stickers. I got a cool, really cool sign with a gnome. A way cool shirt with a gnome. A ceramic light up Christmas tree that makes me want to cry just thinking about it. Super cool stitching and easy merchandise. And donations, y'all. It was a good day. Turns out, and after all that, it was a good day. That is awesome. Thank you guys so very much. I'm telling you, it's like the days that I seriously need happy mail, y'all. Like, we'll just check your P.O. box then. <laughs> so, thank you. Um, so, yeah. So, I guess that's what that is for the happy mail part. Um, so, I've mentioned the whole um, doctor thing and whatever hoping that the referral goes well hoping just hoping you know it's all i know to do so all right um i'm going to go i think i should be pretty good by the time i just i need to go get gas for the car and run to the store just real quick i can't go very long because there's buffers so i'll be in there about two and a half seconds and then get them home because I'm sure they're ready to be home. They didn't go to the doctor and all that stuff with me in case y'all were curious. They haven't, I went home after the doctor got them, came back because my gosh, you know, they haven't been in the car <laughs> the whole time. So anyway, all right. Well, thank you so much for my beautiful happy mail to my beautiful summer, my beautiful Amy, my beautiful mama. I appreciate you guys. Send, like I said, y'all don't have to send me anything, but I can't tell you how much it means. So, Amy, I hope you're cool with me opening my Christmas presents early, but I needed them. And I'm telling you, I want nothing more than a change into this shirt right now. And I don't think there's anyone around, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'll wait. I'll wait. But, oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing. And he's a blue gnome with rainbow yarn, y'all. Y'all know me so well. I love it. All right. So, thank you, guys. I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe and I will talk to you guys soon.